Waters and Power and Tipco Spotfire are a powerful combination. However, getting them to play nicely is not always easy. In this video, we'll be looking at an end-to-end -end workflow involving chromatography data from Empower that is standardized and ultimately moved downstream into Spotfire visualization. This workflow provides labs with rapid data access, accelerated search, and increased productivity. First, let's take a look at the workflow diagram. The TetraScience Empower agent is responsible for taking data from Empower and passing it on to the TetraScience Data Hub. The Data Hub transfers data from all of our integrations, including Empower, to the TetraScience Data Lake. Within the data lake, data is saved and converted into a standardized JSON format. A standard format enables users to perform analysis across disparate data sources or indeed combine data in any downstream application. And finally, we'll see visualizations of our Empower chromatography data that were generated across multiple instruments and sites. So let's jump right in. Our first step is to set up our Empower agent. This is a Windows-based application installed side-by-side -side with an Empower client. The agent extracts injection data from the Empower toolkit, as well as additional data, including methods and results. It's easy to set up a Data Hub connection. Here, we are on the data management page within TetraScience. We'll name our Data Hub and download the installer. The installer is a batch script file. Its main function is to register AWS System Manager on the Data Hub so that Empower data may be transferred to an AWS S3 bucket. Once the Data Hub is configured, we'll jump back to TetraScience and activate it. From this page, users may monitor the status of all their connections. Next, we will integrate Empower and associate it with the data hub we just set up. We download the Empower agent utility. The agent is an executable that runs within an Empower instance. We will input the Empower count information and the data hub API, and our Empower agent is set up and working. The agent monitors the Empower database. When a new injection is created, the agent automatically extracts its data, formats it as a JSON file, and uploads it to the data hub. We can now see Empower files directly from within TetraScience in our web browser. We can search files by just about any parameter. For example, let's search for the project named Sys Suite Default. We see 15 injections belonging to that project. We may download the JSON file and preview its contents, which are presented in a human-readable way. The TetraScience data platform is fully integrated with Elasticsearch. Here's an example of Elasticsearch running through Postman using Elastic Query Language. This is a simple search using sample set name as a parameter. We can build more powerful searches like the example here where we look for an injection that was acquired between a range of dates. Finally, let's take a look at our Empower data within Spotfire. Remember, this data has been standardized and automatically prepared for these visualizations. Here, we're looking at a report template created in TIPCO Spotfire. Now, this template could be used by scientists to retrieve all the projects within Empower. These projects will appear in the projects section of our template. We have the ability to choose as many projects as we like. Projects could come from different sites, or they could have similar products. It's easy to make selections of the data we require, and the projects we select are populated in the sample sets. The sample sets appear in the sample set window, where we can similarly make selections just as we did with projects. Here we'll select all sample sets and retrieve all injections. As we can see, data is retrieved immediately from the TetraScience data lake. We can explore the metadata associated with each injection, including its ID, when it was taken, and the sample sets method. We can see which system was used, when the method was run, and a number of other useful metadata fields, which can all be used to support complex visualizations and analyses. Now, of course, we want to explore our results. In this instance, we'll explore an injection that was processed by a particular user. We can make a selection, in this case, let's say the first 20 injections. We can retrieve results for injections, giving us peak tables and chromatograms. We'll even be able to build some aggregate visualizations in order to perform more complex analysis and gain even more insights into our experiments. In this template, 
we can view the results table where we can see an overlay of different chromatograms of our selected injections. Additionally, we can relate the chromatograms with different injection metadata. We can see which results belong to which chromatogram and can make selections here to display whatever we like. We can also organize by different metadata in order to improve the effectiveness of our visualization. Rearranging the chromatograms in a number of ways helps us compare different batches and different product runs. We can build statistical aggregations, for example, displaying the retention time versus the peak carrier. We can make selections for particular peaks or particular compounds. And we can make selections to only visualize peaks from a particular sample set. In addition, we can build more complex visual analyses as well as system statistics and usage. For instance, how many injections have been run on the system? How long have the runs lasted? What user has been doing the injections? Now, as we can see in many of our demo videos, the magic behind this analysis happens in the background. TetraScience delivers a fully automated solution that retrieves, standardizes, and stores empowered data. This data is accessible to downstream consumers, like a visualization tool, where scientists or business users have access to data across disparate data sources. With the power of an extensive integration list and scalable data platform, cutting-edge labs are getting more from their Empower data using TetraScience.